Aloha, Rich Alverson here. Uh, this is ITS 148, and uh, today we're gonna um, uh, we're gonna uh, this is the third week. We're, we're gonna see what's up for the third week. Let me share my screen, and uh, we're looking at some other stuff here. <clears throat> the third week is uh, dictionaries. <clears throat> uh, let's see. I have posted up. As you may have seen, uh, I've posted up the chap, the le the chapter, the first chapter, the week, the first week's chapter, lab exercises. Okay, and uh, and so if you if you couldn't do any of those or you didn't get all the points for any of those, then you can go go look at those. Uh, and then this was the this was the last video I did. Uh, for the class, chapter eight. And today I'm gonna do chapter nine, and then later on this week or this weekend or whatever, or, or, or whatever, I will put up the, um, so so today we're gonna do chapter nine, we're gonna talk about dictionaries. And then uh, a, a little later this week or this weekend, I will put these labs up, okay? So so that's kind of how it will be be delayed. So So you, still try hard to, to, to do them and then um, if you can't then <clears throat> and probably one or two of them I'm not going to tell you all the way to the end but I'm gonna uh, push as far as I can push you as far as I can and then hopefully you can uh, figure it out of course you can always ask me one-on-one -on -one questions and I'll give you, give you more hints all right so um oh uh, let's see this this weekly engagement thing so um so what this is it's 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 in case uh, it's a case you drop. Okay, if you drop, um, I gotta say when the last time was you were engaged engaged in the class. And this is a federal. This is federal now. So uh, so I've decided. Okay, so it's very simple. Uh, what if someday, some week, you you were out with your buddies and you had a hangover every night and you didn't get get a chance to do anything. Then you can just put nothing. Okay. Okay. Now, now have doing nothing one week uh, may hurt you in other parts of the class, but it certainly will not hurt this. That it will not hurt you in this weekly engagement because that's all I need is the fact that you checked in that you. Uh, Oh no! That you logged into La Lima during the sea. You can only doing or do it during this week period, and so, um, and you can miss six weeks. Remember, you can miss six of them. It's all because you you're going to get a total of of five percentage points out of this. So it's a half a percentage point each time you put something in there. All right. So let's go to um, let's go to chapter. Uh, let's see, yeah. Let's just go to the textbook here. And let's, uh, we are in dictionaries now. All right, so dictionaries are the, the most sophisticated of built-in data structures in, uh, in Python. And um, uh, they're, uh, they're called different things in different languages, but the idea is, is that you, you are able to store uh, name, so, uh, you might say name value pairs or key value pairs. And so uh, uh, key, it says go here, key value pairs. And so um, you have a key value, a key column, you, you can think of it. And then for that key, there's a value. And, and so um, uh, a dictionary is expressed um, using, um, uh, you know, these key colon value pairs separated, separated by commas. And the whole thing is enclosed in these, in these curly braces. Same thing, same, the same, um, notation that is used to, to denote sets, okay. Uh, sets, of course, doesn't ha don't have key value pairs inside, they just have values inside. 
And the rules for sets are different than the rules for, for dictionaries, uh, are they? Actually, no, they're not that much different. Um, dictionaries are, let's see, I'll get back. Dictionaries are mutable, which means you can change the values. Uh, you know, you can, you can, of course, you can change the size of the dictionaries. You can add stuff to dictionaries. You can change values associated with keys and so on. Uh, that means if you pass a dictionary to a, to a, if a dictionary is an, is an argument uh, to a, um, to a method, uh, then the method can change the dictionary. The, the method can modify the dictionary. So you may have to be careful. Okay, that, that, the, uh, the language, the the term for it is mutable. So um, now uh, there's a couple ways to make dictionaries. You can just make them like this. Well, you, well, you, you can start out with an empty dictionary and then and then add add values to it. Uh, you can start out defining it like this. You know, this would be the right side. Of dictionary name equals that. Uh, the second. Well, I, okay, there's dictionary comprehension, but, but I guess we're not going to talk about that. It's kind of like list comprehension. Uh, this You can use this, this dict function here, which is a built-in function, and uh, you, can, uh, uh, you can add key value pairs by, you know, this way, just uh, enclosing a list of key value pairs like that in uh, inside parentheses. Or you can uh, ha uh, in have a list. This is a list of um, tuples, yes. tuple pairs. Hmm, interesting. Um, and so, so when you use these, uh, this they call this these dict operations. But okay, so let's say you have a dictionary called my dict. And uh, uh, so the, the way you refer to a value, uh, you, you, you refer to a value by its key. And so this is, the, this is a key. And so this would, this would, equal, this would equal the value. And so, so it's like a, it's like a, a list. It's like it's a list or array or whatever language. It's, it's like just like that, except for uh, what's inside the square square brackets uh is uh is a key it's it you know it's a string it can be a variable um not just an index for for a list you, you can only put an index in there uh, zero one two three four the index of the, the index of a value and this is how you would set uh a new cap key value if if key if key is already in the dictionary, then this um, changes the value. This this uh, uh, this statement changes the value. If key is not in the dictionary, then this adds a new uh, uh, element or entry to the dictionary uh, with, you know, this is the key and this is the value. This is how you would how you remove or get rid of a a particular element by its key, and then this is a um, this is this returns true or false. This this will return uh, this says uh, whether or not there exists a uh, a key value in this dictionary, a key of this value in this dictionary. So uh, so um, dictionaries, the value can be anything. The value can be a, a a just a, a scalar or whatever value, um, or it can be a list. It can be, a, uh, it can even be another dictionary. So that's, that's what that's showing. All right, so are there any challenges? Oh, here, okay, here's some challenges. Delete Prussia from country capital. Oh, okay, so um, so what's this going to do? This this is going to read in something, <clears throat> read in a list, 
uh, it's gonna it's gonna split on comma, so that means it's gonna have one, two, and three. This looks like uh, countries, capitals of countries, and then uh, so these. This is gonna be in this case three. There's gonna be three entries, uh, and the first entry is gonna be Spain colon Madrid then Togo colon, you know, no, Loam, yes, Loam, um, and then here we are declaring the existence of a new dictionary, uh, and then this is going to loop through all the entries, there's three of them, it, so, and then for each one, for each one, uh, the first one's going to be Spain, colon, Madrid, we're going to take that, this is the first one, we're going to take that and we're going to split it on the colon. So this split pair is going to have <clears throat> two uh, two elements. It's going to be a list with two elements. The zeroth element is going to be Spain. And the first, the one, number one element is going to be Madrid. And so what we want to do is we want to stick that into our country capital dictionary. So, and we want the key to be the Spain. And we want the value for Spain to be <coughs> Madrid, it's that. So that does that. Okay, and now, now what are we supposed to do? Delete Prussia. Okay, so deleting Prussia would probably probably use the DEL, delete um, country capital. That's interesting, they spell capital that way. Instead of should be key C A P I I T O L. Anyway, country and should be country. Uh, I guess I do this colon Prussia delete Prussia. Oh, I see. Okay, so so I'm going to read in. Uh, Prussia. Okay, so delete country. And I want to see if that's right. Delete. There was delete up here someplace, wasn't there? Oh, here we go. This this is what we do. Okay, that's what I'm gonna use. That's what I'm using. Uh okay. So I, uh, is that all I do? Okay, I guess I'm gonna run this to see what happens. Oh, okay, hmm, <clears throat> all right. What's this one? Output, enter the output of dictionaries. Enter the uh, output of, oh, okay, start. Okay, type the program's output. Um, Print airport codes of Paris. So that would be Charles de Gaulle. The next one is C. At two. Is that it? So. All right, let's do number three. Provincial capitals. Read in a name. Read in Nunavut. Uh, it's not exit, that's the last one. Um, so if the province name is in the province capital, provincial capitals, then print it out. Otherwise you print out an X uh, and then you read the next one. Okay, so you read the first one and then you read it and read it and read it until the exit. So the first one is, there is a, a, a Nunavut is in there. So you print out um, I-Q-A-L-U-I-T. 
everybody knows that AIQA, AIQ, oh, a Q without a U after it. L, U, there's the U, I, T. Okay, that's the first one that comes out. The next one is going to be Hawaii. Uh, that's not in there, so I have to put X. And the third one is Iowa. Iowa's not in there either. Hmm. I don't even want the capital of the moon or something. X. Okay, is this right? Yes, it is right. Who's this? BC, Nunavut, Nunavut, Yukon. Okay, what does this do? Type the program's output. Province name. Uh, if province name is in the capitals, print it out and then delete it. C. Okay. All right. So, uh, so, so after it prints it, it's going to delete it. So, uh, when we see Nunavut there twice, we know the second time it's going to be an X. So, the first time it's going to be, we'll print out Victoria. Victoria. And then we're going to print out um, the capital of oh, Alabama is nothing. And then it's going to be uh, Nunavut which is uh, I-Q-A-L-U-I-T, everybody knows that. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> uh, we will have deleted both BC, um, and what's the name? Oh yeah, those are the names, yeah, and, and, and Nunavut. Uh, so the last one's gonna be X. Okay. okay. All right, very good. Okay, dictionary methods. I gotta see how many challenges there are. I wanna get through all the challenges. Um, we are in this one. And we are in eight. No, we're not, we're in nine. Oh, okay. Uh, that's okay. There's, there's, a, there's one here too. Okay. Dictionary method is a function provided by the dictionary type and operates on a specific dictionary object. Yeah. So you can uh, clear out a dictionary. You can make it empty. You can, uh, you can, you can read, um, instead of just, well, here, here you can get the value of a dictionary item, but if the, if the key that you're looking for is not in the dictionary, then it'll provide a default for you. So that might be handy, uh, for some for some time when you're writing code. Uh, the, here you're uh, updating a, diction, a dictionary by adding, you know, combining it with another dictionary. Um, and if there are entries that are common in, to both, it's the one in this, it's the one in here that's gonna, um, overwrite the one in the the one in here uh, and um, get or pop is the same as get except for pop will actually remove it 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 returns the value but then it removes the value All right, so uh, dictionary, let's test your understanding of this dictionary. Oh, here's a challenge. All right, got these airport codes and we're supposed to uh, write out 
what the airport codes are based on. Uh, and if they don't exist, we're supposed to output an NA. Let's see what it is here. Okay, so we got these uh, airport codes here. The first one, London is not there, NA. Next one, Austin is not there, NA. Third one is San Jose, it's there. So uh, I put S A J C. All right. Okay, let's do this one. Uh, airport codes, new airport codes. Okay. All right. Uh, by the way, are there any, okay, so here we see we're going to update. And are there any in common? Uh, Cincinnati, New York, and Los Angeles? No, there's nothing in common. Okay. So they're not going to test us there. Um, okay, so uh, so we're supposed to write um, what's New York uh, it is uh, it is NA Oops, NA because it's not in the first one. I'm just looking in the first one now. Washington is a IAD and um, Seattle is an, an NA. And then um, we we do the merging of them and then we have new york is jfk and then we have washington is iad and seattle is NA. okay is that right yeah okay let's do the last let's see what the last one is just test our any of them in common tokyo austin chicago ah there's one in common okay switches from from o'hare to midway so let's do this one okay what's chicago chicago is ord what is uh, san jose san jose is we don't know san jose yet because San Jose is in new airport codes and San Jose is not in the old one. So we haven't merged them yet. So this is an NA. Then the third one is, oh, it merges. And then Chicago is now MDW because this overwrites this. And then San Jose is, uh, that gets added in, so it's SJC. Let's see. Okay. All right. Iterating over a dictionary. Um, <clears throat> as usual with containers, a common programming task is to iterate over them and or and uh, access and or modify elements of, of the dictionary. So so you can have a loop, a loop variable, loop, a loop variable set to a key. Uh, of an entry for each iteration, the ordering of the keys uh, iterated over uh, is not necessarily the order at, the, at which the elements were inserted, not necessarily. Um, so uh, it creates a hash function. Okay, that, that probably means that it'll always iterate over at the same, uh, at the same order. In other words, it's not random. Uh, if you iterate, if you iterate through it once, it'll whatever order it happens to be, uh, it'll probably be. I think that means that it'll be the same the next time. That's what this creating a hash means. It's going to be, it's going to hash to, it's going to map to a to a uh, to a uh, uh, defined number according to the hash, and it's, it's not it's not random. Um, anyway, uh, so, so, uh, and that allows you to, to look, look things up fast. Do we talk about hashing in this class? Yeah, we do. Very good. So you'll look at the very end, we learn about hashes. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so, um, 
So you can do this. So it's like this for some key in a dictionary, and then and then you have access to a key uh, by key, and then the value, of course, is the dictionary name bracket value. So like uh, here's here's a dictionary, and so this okay. Here's how you can iterate and get both of them at the same time. So for soda comma calories whereas soda is either going to be coke or coke zero or pepsi and calories is going to be either 90 zero or 94 uh in this one and and the way you do that is you use this this uh method built-in method here so it's going to return two separate you know values and say and this is how you can output them uh and uh you can also do it uh this way, I guess. Oh, okay. So this is how you would just loop through, and all you want to do is uh, is grab the um, the keys. This loops through the keys, and so that's why this keys thing is here. Uh, and this this loops through values. The so soda. Oh. Oh, soda is um, okay. This they should have used cal the word calories. They should have used the variable name calories there, not not soda, because it's confusing. Anyway, all right. So um, convert. Uh, objects into lists let's see um so this uh this is a dictionary and if you want a list of the distances in other words you want this and this and this and this in a list you you do this where you say that this list uh, method with this as an argument using this values method here uh, that that'll produce a list and the list will be stored in here that's how you access the list so anyway that's pretty cool and you know I, you know you kind of you you have to have you have to have an application or a problem that you're trying to solve and you think oh this is this is perfect for it then it'll then you'll see its usefulness so let's do this one. Report country uh, <coughs> um, uh, population. Okay, write a loop that prints each country's population in country pop. Okay, so we've got we we're gonna read in an input, a bunch of things separated by commas. Looks like it's this. So we're gonna read that in, and then we're gonna print this out. So this thing reads in this whole string, and then this thing splits it into a bunch of entries, into uh, and so it's splitting it on the on the comma. I'm gonna make it a big. One. So it's splitting on the comma. Here's one comma, two comma, three comma. So there's four entries. One's China, one's India, one's the United States, and one's Indonesia. So there's four the four entries in here, defining a new dictionary, and then we're going to loop through all the pairs in entries. So all four of them, and so the first one, of course, is China colon that, and so we're going to take China colon colon that large number, and we're going to split it on the colon. There's a colon there, and uh, so so now we have this list here. The first element of the list is the word China, and the second element of the list is is an integer. It's this integer. Uh, so um, what we're going to do now is is we're going to load up this dictionary, and the key values, the keys, the keys are going to be the uh, countries. So they're, it's going to be the first uh, element from this split, these from these you know split elements. 
And then the second one is going to be the, 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 the values at the population, I guess. And uh, so that's how you load it up. And then what are we supposed to do? Print out that. Okay. Oh, that's this. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to go country. We're in a for loop, right? Country equals um, country. What? No. Can I just go split pair zero? Yeah, I can just do that. And um, people equals split pair one. I don't have to. I don't have to reference the dictionary at all, do I? I don't think. Let's see. Oh wait a minute. Oops. Pop should be pop. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. Oh. Indentation error. Why is this an indentation error? What is this? Well, I'm baffled. Let's see. Oh, this is an actual class. Now, normally, if I were, if you weren't here, I would pause and figure it out. But uh, let's see. Why does it give me annotation errors? I want it to be in this loop. Uh, how about if I get rid of this thing? <laughs> Let's see what this does. Uh, all right, uh, let's see. I gotta go go cheat here and look at the. We're in the section nine point three. Every now and then you find a bug in the book. Let's see, what is this uh, view solution here? Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. First, I'm supposed to load up the dictionary. Then I'm supposed to have another loop to loop through and output. See, I was trying to cheat. I was trying to, I was trying to print it out the same time I read it in. Uh, I guess, uh, I, look, look, this output's in a different order. This output's in a different order. Mine would have output it in the same order, read it in, but probably because of that hashing business, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's in a different order. So really what they're looking for here is um, something that looks like this. That's why I keep, keep giving me an invitation here. Or, uh, Oh, yeah. I use um, this one, where I'm going to grab both of them out at the same time. So I, I got to use this colon items thing. So I'm going to go for country. Country, comma, comma, um, in country, 
top dot items colon. Um, then I then I don't have then I don't have this. All right, that's all, that's all it is. All right. Okay. Uh, wait a second. It's in a different order. This does not put in the same order. Gee, I wonder why. Okay, what's next? Dictionary, dictionary nesting. Okay, so you can have um, dictionaries of dictionaries. Let me see what the... Is there... It doesn't look like there's a challenge activity in di dictionary. Okay, there's no challenge activity in dictionary nesting. The time's at 218. Hmm, okay. Um, all right, so uh, so this, see, see, it's, there's there's dictionaries of, you have, a, you have a, a dictionary called students, and inside students, uh, you know, this is a particular uh, element, entry this is a particular entry in the dictionary uh it's an entry for jose and um and it and it's equal to a dictionary uh this particular dictionary uh has you know two entries one for for uh, a grade and the other for an id and so so that's what dic dictionary nesting is and so you know, they're kind of put together. Nesting dictionaries example here is um, well, this is a dictionary. This is the okay, right. So grades dictionary has uh, one, two, three entries, and each each entry has uh, or each entry uh, had um, is also a dictionary. And each of those dictionaries also ha happens to have three entries, one for homeworks, one for midterm, and one for final. All right, so that's, so, you know, you can do all that. All right, so um, I hope this helps. And so I I'm going to be doing, yeah, so I'll see you next uh, Thursday at this time. Thanks, Dr. All right. Yep, thank you. Take care.